Hey there, welcome back. Today I have an expensive broken robot. So why did I buy this expensive broken robot? Before I get into it, take a second to subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you're a lurker, and I know there's a lot of lurkers because I could see the stats and there's thousands of unique visitors. You guys need to hit subscribe, okay? So that you can get notified for new videos, other collectors will see these cool things. There's a million reasons, so do that. That's your responsibility. And thumb up the video too, by the way. Leave any comments. So anyway, I bought this robot. It looks great, right? It looks fantastic. This is the rare red hand version. And this box is very uncommon. I mean, this box is minty as mint can be. I'm showing you the inside here. Now, one of the identifying features, if I haven't ever shown you this before, but see this? This strip here is what the original boxes have. I mean, this is a crisp box. There's other, the other, even the bottom here. All the staples are nice and tack. If you ever have any questions on how you could identify an original box, uh, feel, feel free to ask. So this is in the uh, Zoomer family. Reminds me of the R35 box in a way, for some reason, the way robots spelled out without the rivets. I'll get one more close up here. <laughs> Gotta love those lightning bolts, right? The lightning bolts and that planet. Is that sphere a planet? I guess he's gonna fix the planet with his trusty wrench. So, anyway, I picked up this robot. It wasn't cheap, but it wasn't, exp it, it wasn't uh, super duper expensive. Uh, what do these sell for in the box usually? They were. Used to be like a $2,000 toy, maybe more, but I, I picked this up uh, under 1000 And the reason being now, the person showed me, it actually has that ear cap, I'm gonna show you. This is the original ear cap there, but, but I can't put it on there. I'm gonna show you why as well because if you look close it's missing the rivet over here the rivets broken off now in the auction pictures it's still it still looked very clean and the reason I'll get to the the reason why I bought it is because this box is particularly rare in my opinion and to get this box in this like absolutely stunning condition bright crisp uh, vibrant graphics, nice color, no fade, it was a no-brainer. And quite honestly, I would have paid that much just for the box. So the robot is a uh, is a bonus, <laughs> you know, that, that actually came with the robot. Now, uh, on the surface, other than that broken tab, you can see the faceplate's a little dented there. It still doesn't seem all that bad, right? However, <laughs> when I went to put a battery in here, because I said, you know, I can get a vice grip, right? I can put a small vice grip on the ear, right? And just, and just uh, glue it down, you know? Glue down the one side. Keep it with a little vice grip until the glue took hold. But when I looked inside here, I put a battery in. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that. The battery just fell in the entire body. So it seems that, like, the battery case itself on the inside is missing, which is really weird. Because if I look under here, and this is, by the way, if you want to also tell how these are original versus a reproduction, you see the Japan stamping up top there. It's hard to see, but you see between the legs there. Right up, right up here, it says Japan. And that's, uh, you know, unique to the originals because they did reproduce this. So then I notice this little bend here, and it's odd because the tabs on the bottom are in perfect shape. It doesn't look like they've been bent out at all. So it's really confounding how they managed to just go through and it's almost like they had to purposely yank that out. It's just very strange damage to this. It's the only way I could describe it. I don't know like how the ear was pulled up because this is in great shape. The coil antenna is nice. So now this robot is a project. Uh, but, you know, as these Zoomers go, I mean, he has everything. Uh, but he will need to be completely opened up. I mean, his original backpack is here. 
So it's it's worth salvaging this guy. And the thing is, you know, if you have to, right, something like this, you can get the reproduction. I think Tin Tom made it just to get the uh, battery compartment in there. Uh, there's really no solution for a missing tab. I suppose you can kind of try to solder a tab in there, unless it's bent in there. I don't think so. It looks like it's looks like it's busted off. Um, but you can try to straighten out that faceplate and get this guy back to life, really. It wouldn't take much. So at the end of the day, just to get this box alone was worth the price of admissions. And the robot... Um, despite its problems, I mean, display is great. I could probably glue that ear on itself and leave it as a, as a static display, but I probably won't do that. I'll probably get it fixed at some point. Um, but if nothing else, this is not too far away from being a perfect working example. So sometimes as a collector, you gotta, you gotta like bite the bullet and, and pick up something that you feel, well, I could have done better if I waited, but you know what? This box in this condition might not be around for five years, three years, two years, six months, 10 years, who the hell knows? But the robot itself, right? It's passable and you can certainly find a junk or even original zoomer to get uh, donor parts for. So in this case, I would prefer to get an original zoomer that's shot and you know, you can pick one up maybe for a couple hundred bucks tops and then transpose the battery compartment and then get this guy totally back to life. So that's the strategy that you have to employ as a collector sometimes. So you don't pass up on something waiting for the perfect example that might not come or it might come so far down the road. It's not even by then you might even have sold off your collection. So that's it. Thanks for uh, staying with me this long. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any remarks, and uh, with and thumb up the video too. And hit the if you do subscribe, hit the bell icon, that little bell, so it notifies you of all new videos. All right. With that, thanks. Have a happy new year, and I'll talk to you later.